the whole concept of the subconscious mind and that video was very much a 3D explanation of how the subconscious mind works. The key issue here is the subconscious mind that needs changing is that of the one who does not have. And when you're claiming who you are, you're activating the subconscious of the person who already has their desire. There's nothing to change. There's nothing to impress. You're already that. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Muna Shibal and I'm a manifestation and solar alignment coach. My channel is geared towards helping you become your highest potential so that you can create and live the extraordinary life that is your birthright. In today's video, I'll be talking about whether or not repetition is essential. But before we get started, just a quick reminder that I offer both email and video coaching. So if you need help in manifesting any of your desires or in releasing any of your blogs, you definitely want to check out all my coaching options. They are in the description below. And I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon if you'd like to receive a notification anytime I upload a new video. So today's video is inspired by a question I received on my channel in relation to repetition. If you've been following me for a while, there is a video that I posted, I think about two years ago, you know, a few months into starting my channel. I filmed this video, which was a huge hit that got unanimous feedback that it was just an amazing video and I'm not here to brag by the way I'm there's a point to why I'm saying all this it's a video about the subconscious mind and you probably have seen it it's called how to trick your subconscious mind into believing the new story I'm gonna link it above if you'd like to watch that and that video was a huge hit because the whole concept of the subconscious mind and that video was a very much a 3d explanation of how the subconscious mind works and you know there is a lot of science out there on the subconscious mind and you know impressing the subconscious mind all of that is very valid there's nothing that's not true it is absolutely true and it works but there are easier ways and it's actually a comment that i have placed under that video because there are easier ways. There are easier ways for us to create our realities. And in the past few months, more maybe the past year, I've been talking about the two identities, which are identity X and identity Y. And identity X reflects the identity of the person who does not have their desire, and identity Y represents the identity of the person who does have their desire. And of course, there are an infinite number of identities reflective of an infinite number of desires that you can be experiencing. And each desire has the one that does not have and one that has. And of course, variations of that. I mean, I'm just keeping it super simple with X and Y. X reflecting, no, I don't have my desire. Or I'm holding the identity of the person who does not have their desire. And Y is, I'm holding the identity or I'm choosing the identity of the person who does have their desire. And last week, I spoke about the levels of creation, the seven levels of creation, which I will link above. And repetition is reflective of levels three and four if we were to say what the levels are very quickly you have level one which is the densest hardest is at the level of action level two is emotions level three are thoughts and assumptions level four are core beliefs and assumptions level five is the identity level six is the I am, level seven is the great I am. You can definitely watch that video to get 
a better understanding of all that. But I'm going to tell you how repetition fits into all this. Repetition is reflective of the level of reality creation you are choosing. They're at levels three and four. When you are repeating, your goal is to impress your subconscious mind. The key issue here is the subconscious mind that needs changing is that of the one who does not have. If you get that as the operant power of your reality, at level six, the I am, being in that conscious awareness, disconnecting from any identity, and choosing without any limitation who you desire to be, you're shifting from X to Y like that. You're choosing Y. And when you're claiming who you are, you're activating the subconscious of the person who already has their desire. There's nothing to change. There's nothing to impress. You're already that. Because what's happening is you're activating the beliefs, thoughts, emotions, and actions, or the inner state of that person. There's nothing to change. Now, yes, we may go back and forth between X and Y. All you need is just conscious awareness that, well, I'm, if I'm having these thoughts, it means I am an X. I'm identified with X. And you can pause and reboot. As I explain in my Trinity video, which I will link above, you pause and reboot exactly as explained in that video. You go into the state of the I am state of no identity and from there you go back and choose y you're deactivating x you're deactivating the subconscious mind of that person so it's all about conscious awareness is repetition needed no repetition is not needed because when you are in y you're going to have the thoughts that match the identity you are choosing no repetition is needed and I want to emphasize that you are in Y by default. And I've spoken about this in one of my videos. I will link it above. You are by default in identity Y. You are by default in the state of the wish fulfilled. You only activate X when you think that you are not in the state of the wish fulfilled. Because you are looking at the 3D circumstances and making assumptions that you are doing something wrong or something's not going right or there's something that you need to do so you are technically activating identity x but by default you are an identity y why is it the case is because you would not even have perceived that desire if you were not already in the state of the wish fulfilled it is only a matter of that unfolding so just trust that you are in y by default and literally, when you just assume that this is, you are already that which you desire to be, you activate the inner beliefs, thoughts, emotions, and actions that match that identity. This is very important. I wanted to throw this in as a note. But of course, if you resonate with repetition, if you resonate with repeating, 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 by all means, do it. And I spoke about how there is no right or wrong techniques. Just go with what it is that you resonate with. I will link that video above. In the end, you choose what you resonate with and you stick with it. There's nothing wrong with that. But is repetition essential? The answer is no, it's not essential. It is a way that absolutely works. It absolutely works. Just don't limit yourself in thinking that there is a process involved to impress the subconscious mind as i explained in that video which you know it works but there's something easier there is something easier and i was chatting with one of my clients today she said my self-concept still needs work i said actually it's just about switching you can switch just like that just like that you can be in the identity of the person who is let's say loved chosen pursued and committed to just recognize that I can claim that right now and bam you're changing you're shifting you're just reclaiming who you are you're choosing again who you are and by default then you activate the inner state of that person there's no process or a period of time 
for you to impress your subconscious mind. It is a process. It is a way for sure you can do it because, you know, sometimes people feel, we're programmed to feel that there's something that needs time. It needs to take place over a period of time. We're conditioned to believe that. We're conditioned to think that that's the way. By all means, it is a way. It is not the only way and it is not a must. Don't hold yourself back with the assumption that my self-concept still needs work. It's about choosing, choosing that I am loved, chosen, pursued, and committed to. I am deserving of all the love I desire. I am that. And when you're finding it hard to shift, that is because the other identity is active, the identity of not having, of not being loved, chosen, and pursued then you can pause and reboot and then choose again. And I do talk about different techniques or tools to deal with being heavily triggered or, you know, being in that state of allowing because sometimes you don't want to keep pushing. You don't want to keep pushing yourself to go into why when you're just not feeling it. And I spoke about that in this video called Sometimes Circumstances Do Matter. I will link it above. Yes, sometimes circumstances do matter, allow it, allow it, and then you can shift back. So there are tools to deal with that, but ultimately you can shift at the snap of your finger. It is very fast. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please like, comment, and share, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next video.